Today we shall reflect on the life of Saint John of Egypt. Until he was 25, John worked as a carpenter with his father. Then, feeling called by God, he left the world and committed himself to a holy, solitary life in the desert. His master tried his spirit by many unreasonable demands, bidding him roll the hard rocks, tend dead trees, and the like. In all things, John obeyed with the simplicity of a child. After a training of 16 years, he withdrew to the top of a steep cliff to think only of God and his soul. The more he knew of himself, the more he distrusted himself. For the last 50 years, therefore, he saw no women and seldom men. The result of this vigilance and purity was threefold: a holy joy and cheerfulness which consoled all who conversed with him perfect obedience to the superiors and in return for this authority over creatures whom he had forsaken for the creator st agustin tells us of his appearing in a vision to a holy woman whose sight he had restored to avoid seeing her face to face devils assailed him continually but his prayer never ceased From his long communing with God, he turned to men with gifts of healing and prophecy. Twice each week, he spoke through a window with those who came to him, blessing oil for their sick and predicting future happenings. A deacon approached him in disguise, and John reverently kissed his hand. To the Emperor Theodosius the First, he foretold his future victories and his death. The last 3 days of his life John gave wholly to God. On the 3rd day he was found dead on his knees as if in prayer, but his soul was with the Lord. It was the year 394.